Hello, I'm Judy Stanton and I'm a tour guide around town. And I'm a tour guide at all the major meeting places around town, Fed Square, Melbourne Town Hall, State Library. I'm also a greeter with Melbourne Tourism and we take guests to Melbourne, visitors to Melbourne, on an orientation walk around our city. So I'm absolutely passionate about Melbourne. But what I love about Melbourne are the stories, are the nooks and crannies, are the laneways, are the hidden places. And so today I've brought in Marie Cootie's Melbourne, The History of Now. Because Marie, when she writes this book, she brings in characters, she brings in their stories. So if I thought, oh, I'd like to know more about Eddie Perfect or Merkamora, I can just go, or Sydney Meyer, I can go to Marie's book and find their stories, find out what they've significantly contributed to Melbourne. So all that fabric is built, and that's what I like to include in the tour guiding that I do and in my walks around. So today I'm going to read you a little bit of William Buckley's story, because here I am in the State Library, and you can see a lot about William Buckley here in the Cowan Gallery and in the Changing Face of Victoria. So let me read you a little bit of what Marie says about William Buckley. Buckley's story has all the hallmarks that, that great legends require. Big stature, big character, big adventure and big concepts. At its very centre, justice, slavery, racism, man against nature. His is a rare tale of a successful castaway. Robinson Crusoe was a fiction. Buckley was real. But the easy temptation to romanticise his story is constantly a challenge by Buckley's own unique humanity, unsure, brave, frightened, lonely and loyal. It's a study in the capacity we all possess to adapt and accept in both thought and deed. William Buckley was born in Cheshire in England in 1780 and raised by his grandparents. They educated him and taught him a trade until this turbulent young man joined the army at the age of 19. He fought for Britain in Holland against Napoleon's French Republicans in 1800, where he was seriously wounded in the right hand. He returned to an impoverished London and offered, that offered him little opportunity. After steer, stealing a bolt of fabric with some mates, he was convicted and sentenced to a prison work party. After six months, Buckley, being skilled as a bricklayer and mechanic, was selected for transportation for life. As a potentially useful member of the proposed penal colony in Port Phillip. So, if you want to know more, read on.